What's up, social sellers? In this video, I cover Taplio, which is a tool used for growing your personal brand on LinkedIn. My name is Artem, and I help digital agencies master lead generation using my genuine social selling framework for high ticket clients. Given that, I would naturally use a tool that would help me to connect with people in a deeper level on D in DMs, comments, and basically interact with them. So I'm curious how this tool will stack up and whether I will be using this. So if you're looking to also learn more about Taplio and have an entertaining time with me while doing all this and see whether you can use this tool yourself, well, go ahead, be my guest, check out this video. I'll see you right there. Okay, welcome into my screen. And guys, before we go anywhere, make sure we connect on LinkedIn. It's, it's really nice to keep in touch, let's be friends. So uh, now that this awkward invitation has been out there, let's go and check out Taplio directly, okay? So here's what it says, taplio.com, grow your personal brand on LinkedIn. So first of all, I want to give you some context because I actually did check out this tool, I think a couple of months back and I wasn't really, really impressed by it. And now I'm back to it thinking that maybe I can use it for my social selling approach, which involves a lot of direct messages and just basically communicating with people back and forth because the idea is that people only buy from people they really know. So that's why you really need to establish this level of connection, genuine, and um, basically have people like you before uh, you get something, you get anything out of them, okay? So let's check it out, what's what's out there. So anyway, first of all, what, what hasn't been out there before, yeah, a couple of months when I was check, a couple of months back when I was first checking it out, is this powered by GPT-4 thing. So AI is all over the place, yeah, so it's moving along nicely, and I'm wondering if I will have a job in a, you know, in a few weeks even. But anyway, so it is what it is right now. And basically it goes on, grow your personal brand in 10 minutes a day. That's the big promise. So all these creators and whatever. And when we go into, let's go into pricing because usually it has a lot of information about the features, okay? So once we look at, uh, look at this pricing thing, we've got a few options here. We got starter, standard, and we got pro, okay? So this is for annual billing, by the way. So I would imagine the prices for monthly fees would be like 20% higher as they typically are. And uh, yeah, they've got this content inspiration, advanced schedule and personal analytics. Then there is like AI stuff, relationship builder, team features, and so on and so forth. So basically, that's pretty much it on the pricing page, which is kind of weird. It's kind of sad because I'll show that in a moment. They actually have a lot more information once you're in the, on the inside. So anyway, to get started, you click get started for free. And oh, pretty, I'm pretty sure it will sign me. I oh, know. Okay. Yeah. It sent me back to the sub, just subscribe. But anyway, let's actually go real quick to the incognito and see what it offers me here. So I'm going to start for free. Let's sign me in. Okay, it's asking me to sign up. Anyway, so once you sign up, you will be inside this thing. And um, I want to show you the, the actual, the, the upgrade options, okay? Because they give a lot more details here once you're in the inside. So I cannot move this. Okay, anyway. So once you look at it on the inside, you see the the difference, yeah, so they give you a lot more information here. So this is the standard plan, there is this pro plan. So, and as you can see, the difference is staggering, like the huge difference. So let's see what is just so, what is so different, okay, about this whole thing. And so it's very similar in terms of these things. Yeah, so it's got 4K, 4 million viral post library, AI picked suggestions. I don't like all these things, like 4 million. Well, would you even go through these? Like, you know, why do we need so many? I mean, it's a cool thing to have maybe, but um, AI picked suggestions. Okay, thanks. AI generated posts. That's pretty powerful, but it also has these here. So I'm not really getting anything out of like st starter and standard. Okay. Uh, on demand AI hook generator also here. So let's see what else is different. Auto DM, auto plug, hide URL expands. Oh, okay, whatever. 
like you see there's like so many features and it seems like it's all over the place and what i really need like when it comes to so social selling you really don't need much you need like a you need like an outreach tool and you can use like a galaxy for it like that's what i use um and then you just need some sort of a good inbox system but you also ideally you need to have like a good post scheduler so something that you can schedule a post that would post with and this is actually originally what i came i uh, came uh, for to Taplio, yeah, so I needed something to schedule my posts. Right now, actually LinkedIn has this feature built in, so you don't even need like a separate tool for it. Of course, it looks a little bit nicer with a professional tool, which is uh, made specifically for it, but still, like you can still um, schedule a post on LinkedIn directly uh, once, you, once you do that stuff. But anyway, they've got all these uh, like ton of different features, Relationship Builder Pro, one two hundred likers up to 500 people per post this is pretty cool actually and i'm i'm curious how it works but i'm not on the i'm not on the pro plan so i'm on the standard plan because pro plan is like it's a serious kind of uh, serious serious tool you know i don't know if, if i need that much 250 gpt4 credits 5000 gpt4 credits there's a big difference as well on those but anyway let's check out some of these um some of these things once you first log in you have to kind of fill up the information of like who exactly are you what exactly do you do so for, ex for example i typed in stuff like lead generation sales linkedin uh, uh, uh these sort like agency digital marketing yeah because these are the industries i work in so this is something i typed in so now i'm checking out these these uh, ai generators content inspiration so generated for you and you can already tell just how much time it's taken. So it's loaded into all these percentages. But while it's happening, let's see what else is here. Post generator, hook generator. So, okay, that is kind of like, doesn't make sense. Why is it separate? And if it's separate, why is not hook in front of the post? Because you would naturally like start with the hook and then actually have a post, or is it something else? But anyway, here post generated for you, put them uh, or use them as inspiration refreshed every day okay that is actually pretty pretty powerful and I think it used up one of my credits right now so I had like 248 before from 250 on a monthly basis but I played with it for a little bit so uh, I, I had like two credits deducted from me from me previously and now I had one more taken away for, for this content stuff um, okay let's let's take it out it seems it seems interesting so well, first of all, yeah, all these posts, as you can see, they are generated like they're pure text and um, pretty, pretty long, long form text, which is, it's not good or bad, it just is, okay. Is your business serving a cold plate of leads? Here's some food for thought. Oh, okay, that is cool spin. Why spend hours hunting down low quality leads when you can have hot, ready to buy prospects served to your table? Think about it. Isn't it more beneficial to attract the right customers to your business rather than chasing after random leads? Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going good. I guess it's just GPT-4 language model. So uh, remember, success isn't about how many people you reach. It's about the right people you reach. Take a step forward. Let's make things work for you. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty cool, actually. That's really, really cool. I mean, I, I love this, but again, like, is it Taplio itself or is it GPT-4? Yeah, so I'm actually curious. I'll probably try GPT-4 in a separate video and uh, report back on that. Okay, let's check out Post Generator. What is your post about? Okay, what is Hook Generator? What is your post about? Tell us what your post is about and we'll generate an eye-catching hook for it. Okay, so it's like as if you have a post. Okay, suppose I want to write about a post about um, reaching out reaching out to digital marketing agency owners and selling them a lead generation service which is something that i would do generate hooks let's see what it does okay see increase generate new gpt4 Oh, and you can switch to 3.5 GPT to increase the speed. Okay. Oh, okay, so it basically gives me, I'm curious if I actually write the whole post in here, like if I can paste the whole post in here and then click generate hooks, will it do it for me? 
I guess it will, because it doesn't seem like there is a limit in the how much. Yeah, I'm just copy pasting right now. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there is a limit. So you can probably like type in the whole post in here. Just copy paste if you're creating the post yourself. Weird in AI age. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, and then it can probably have some hooks, hook ideas for you. But anyway, let's check them out. Is lead, gener lead generation your agency's Oculus heal? I've got the remedy. Stay with me for more. Frustrated by your agency's lack of last three client rules, roster. I've got lead generation solution that might change, just change everything. Ready to start your agency's client list. Here's the lead. I like the way it's calling out like agencies, attract high ticket clients. That's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. Because it's important to hook uh, the people, the, the target audience that you want to reach out right away, right from the very start. So you let them know that you're talking to them. That's the basic like copyright in 101. So I like the way it does it, but it uses up another credit for these for these hooks, you know. So again, I mean, could chat GPT like the basic one, even the free version, like could it provide something as good? Of course it could. Okay. Here, what the what the, the cool part is, like it's all it's all integrated, like use this hook, you know, and then you can pretty much uh yeah, here you can start composing it and uh, create like a post draft schedule sent. Yeah, so I, I mean, my, my face is here right now, so uh, I cannot really process this. But yeah, that's the idea. So it's, it's kind of easier to kind of all integrate it. You can schedule things right away. Okay, but let's check out the post generator. And so so far, it seems like I'm, um, I'm just testing GPT-4. Not really testing Taplio, but let's stick to it. So I got 246 credits still in my account. What is your post about? Or we can even click suggest topic. Okay, it's 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 actually going to use up credit if I'm completely like if I'm uh, if I'm really not in the mood to think. Let's click that. I'm not in the mood to think. Okay, let's see what it shows up. So it's already used up the credit. I'm checking out this credits then because it's not the only tool using credits. So I'm curious how it all works because there are some tools, high Ahrefs, which is uh, which is not doing a good job in my opinion when it comes to deducting um, deducting these credits because not infrequently what happens is that the tool would use up a credit. It would then wouldn't actually load. So far, I don't see any issues here, but it would still use up the credit. And once you hit the refresh button, it would deduct yet another credit, but still you wouldn't get the, the result that you were hoping for initially. Okay, why spam connect on LinkedIn is a new cold colon and why it doesn't work. Okay, okay, that is pretty, pretty cool. Actually, that's, that's a cool topic. But I'm curious if I hit next, will this use up a credit 244 right now? Yes or no? Yes or no? Let's do that. Next. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. It did not be how many have we got? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Five post generator ideas. That's actually pretty cool. So for one of these, like you, for one credit, you get like five post ideas. Social selling sounds friendly, but is it just a wolf in, the sheep's, in sheep's clothing? I really like this one. I love this one. I really, really love this one. So I'm going to click generate and see what shows up. Again, 245 credits. We'll use the credit. Generate. course it will <laughs> anyway so again gpt4 but again like i'm not really using Taplio still i'm using gpt4 i know i love the way it's built in here and uh i'm, I'm scared that it's the only great feature it has <laughs> the tool but let's see let's, let's 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 hope we get something while this thing is going on like while okay it's actually loaded already So I guess we can use it like a hook itself, like this, this, this line, because it's really good. Think social selling is your new best friend. You might want to think again. Beneath its friend interior, this buzzword hides a harsh reality. It's not about socializing over coffee. It's about leveraging relationships and social networks for sales, a delicate balancing act. We've seen it. An old acquaintance slides into your DMs in order to catch up, but to promote their product. Oh, my God. <laughs> Suddenly, the line between friendship and business is blurred. But let's flip the script. What if we viewed social selling not as a wolf, but as a shepherd, a guide, leading us, <laughs> leading us to build genuine relationships and trust, which in turn could naturally lead to sales? No doubt it's a tightrope walk. 
one one wrong step oh my god i really love this post this is so insane let's strip social sell of its wolf's clothing let's focus on general relationship oh my god i love this i'm so taking this and posting this to my linkedin i love this stuff leave your thoughts in the comments <laughs> that's crazy i mean it's 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 crazy like a couple of months back we wouldn't even believe we'd have something like that without hiring a real like a a real super duper copywriter and there you have it gpt4 is crazy it's really really crazy i mean wouldn't you react to this post it's really really good i mean i would you know format it a little bit better so it's uh you can skim through it a lot a lot easier but man this stuff is so powerful it's crazy really crazy okay all right so the a part looks really good ai part looks really good because it's a gpt4 language model let's see what we what else we got we've got viral content search mode industry news my state content i don't have any okay let's check out the crm stuff as well and see where it takes us okay tablio post inspirations so what i'm looking at here is called viral content viral you like viral content i'm actually not a huge fan i had like one post which acquired almost uh well over seven hundred thousand impressions it was on chat gpt how to use seo how to use chat gpt for seo we got a lot of traction but <laughs> they don't really convert these things you know it's like oh you have to be like ready before you get all that traffic so people can check you out you know can download your ebook or join your mini course or do anything of that nature you have to be ready for that traffic but otherwise it doesn't really convert that well like it doesn't convert even the amount of impressions you get crazy but anyway, so here are some post inspirations. So the idea is that you use these high performing posts as inspirations for your next content or our AI engine selected just these for you. Uh, okay, your comfort zone can be a good place. I like, I don't even need this for inspiration because now I have GPT-4. I mean, you've just seen how good it was, you know? I mean, you could probably take a part of it oh yeah you can do that you can so do that you can take this post copy it paste it inside the um maybe hook generator or something inside like come up with a topic out of this basically you can almost like spin the thing you can take it copy it and have it spun by the the the, the like chat gpt or something like that and you can post it again i didn't say this but you know what you can do that I didn't say this though, but anyway, crazy. But it, yeah, okay, Inspira inspiration. <laughs> okay, let's check out the filters because that's important. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. So these are, these are the search keywords it's using. Then, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I can pick an author. So say if I only want to work with like uh, fo folks from uh, United Arab Emirates, hey, alhamdulillah, or I want to work with Americans, America. Say I want to work with Americans. And say I only want to get only LinkedIn. And okay, it's cool. It actually has exclude carousels function. Hashtags. This is my personal description and the topics and search keywords that I entered at the very start when I once I signed up for for the tool. Okay. So now I click apply filters. I go inside and see what happens really no results for this search query please adjust the filters and make a broader search this is crazy really this is really really crazy. that is so weird all country okay that was weird Okay, let, let's reload it. But I already dislike this, you know. Um, and it has nothing to do with the spelling error here and lose. Basically, it's lose. Lose. L lose. Not lose. Anyway, it should only have like one single O. But anyway, I don't like this because if I'm looking at post inspirations, I want to be able at least to get my attention to anything that is like semi viral in a way. Like this 1K is good. 1K, 157, 
or 71. Well, I guess it's not too bad. Okay, what does this button offer? Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, this is something I was just talking about. Our AI will write an alternative post while trying to stay on the same topic. Oh, conservative, <laughs> wild. <laughs> Let's make this wild. Let's go back to this. Uh, wait, do I have anything with lead generation? Yeah, I have something with lead generation. Some people think LinkedIn isn't the place for puppy pictures. Okay, that's too old. That's 2021. Pretty old post. Actually, let's take an old post because everybody forgot about them so we can steal content without feeling ashamed. <laughs> How evil is that? Oh my God, it disappeared. Wait, need. Okay. Anyway, let's take this one. Let's take this one, click wild and click generate. Okay, it's stealing one more of our credits, which I'm totally fine with. Basically, you find a post which performed really well in the past for whatever reason, and then you click this variation. We can generate variation on sensible topics. Okay, that's an interesting one. Okay, the puppy, maybe. Okay, let's try this one. Generate. I'm, I'm curious if that is, I presume this is GPT-4 limitation because they'd probably be more uh, concerned with stuff like that. I don't think it's the tap you itself. Okay, here's, oh my God, this is. So oh guys, what do you think so far? I'm sure you're reading this off your screen as well. I mean, it's it's really heavy on emojis. I wouldn't I wouldn't use that many, and it's a, it's a very like obviously it's been re it, it it came from like girl so yeah it has this girly way of putting things. A single click of a puppy can spark flourishing conversation threads. It's like creating bridges. Cause guess what talks bonds. Makes no sense to me this bit. Maybe I'm stupid. Such illicit reactions evoke people to step forward, become an excellent nurturing grounds for inbound lead generation. Yeah, I, I like this bit, but I don't like this, this part. So I guess, I mean, you, you see, like maybe it's not perfect. Maybe I didn't really pick the right topic to base the stuff on, but you kind of see it, the way it works. It, it uses, again, one, once again, uses a credit. You can paste it directly into your composer and schedule within add to queue pick it all up and it's uh, it's pretty good like that. But anyway, so that is that is the part with the post inspirations. Now we are in the search mode, search for any topic and find viral posts to get inspired by. And so what was the point of the previous bit? If I'm if I can do this here, let's do lead generation. LinkedIn. 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 Okay, lead generation LinkedIn. And I click uh, enter. Now I'm waiting for this thing to work. Optimize results for my account. Okay, that's pretty dope, I guess. So they're kind of uh, filtering this through my, like the stuff, maybe my, my hashtags that I used in my profile when I was filling it up or the the post that I put together previously. Okay, let's see what we got. See, like it's crazy. 2021, 222, 222. And we're in like 223 right now, like in a halfway through almost. Want to make 100K from LinkedIn leads and to work with new and exciting companies. And okay. I like I'm I'm not a fan of it because these are pretty old, you know. And the reason I'm not a fan of these results that they're pretty old is because you cannot nearly base your predictions uh, of how the post will perform based on what you're seeing back then because the algorithm has changed. It's constantly evolving. Actually, not a few weeks ago, 
LinkedIn algorithm has changed. So now when I see this, a generation of feminine, vegan, and confused men is how is how you know we're currently in extremely hard times. This is why more than ever we need masculine men to step up and lead, make men warriors again. Okay, this is completely off topic. It's nothing to do with lead generation. High income scales. Which one do the best? That's actually a cool post. You can always like you can you can always post something like that. It performed pretty pretty well because it kind of prompts the discussion as well, which is great. Uh, gear recruitment industry has been twenty five. Da da da. These generation programs it didn't work, and yeah, I guess you can find something here. But again, like I don't know if I if I would be using this 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 part of the tool at all because I mean the stuff that I write about I mean to me it's all it's also like develop it's talking to a very specific type of an audience that I want to have a conversation with and um, frequently I wouldn't necessarily get any reaction from these folks but I still want to chat to them yeah because I know they're seeing the content that I post and they might not react to every single bit of it but still I'm on their radar and I'm having a direct conversation with them I might be covering something that we tried to do and we failed, something we started doing and actually succeeded after struggling a little bit. So it almost like becomes like a series. And then I also use opportunities to teach my target audience, yeah, to explain them how things work on LinkedIn, how does this process of genuine social selling evolve and how it all operates. So I'm not really, really inspired by these posts, especially given that some of them are completely off topic. And uh, I, I guess I can learn something from the format some of them use. Yeah, like for example, this one, I hate this. I mean, it works, but I hate it, yeah? Uh, or like something like that, that's pretty, pretty cool. It, it kind of is, um, it, it, it's good because it kind of promotes a conversation. And once, it, once you're able to kind of spark a conversation within the community, uh, that's really good, yeah, because it kind of more people are invested into what you are doing, it helps you with sales afterwards, okay, it helps you have a conversation with those people. So, I don't know, like, I'm probably see myself using this then just to kind of get an idea of what sort of thing worked, at least in the past, again, yeah, so 2021, pff, things have changed. Let's close this bit. Now, top news. This can actually be pretty, pretty, <clears throat> pretty powerful. Um, how to make a LinkedIn corner strategy that drives sales. Like, let's put it this way. I would probably never post a link. First of all, post a link from the post because it kills reach. Yeah, it's just something you don't do because obviously um, any social platform frowns upon you trying to take people out from social platform and they would basically kill, kill your reach every single time. Okay? So... And even if I was to post a link, I would never post a link to a different resource, you know. Um, what I really liked about that one, I disabled it. <laughs> oh, come on, I did. But anyway, if you focus here, it says 2023, okay. J July 14th. So it's actually very, very fresh, which is great. Let's check out some, some other example. Just see how fresh they are. 13th, 23. Okay, that's actually very, very good. Because um, once you're becoming a social seller, you want to also become the source of information for your target audience. And stuff like this can really be really, really powerful because then you can basically go ahead, check out the link, how to make money on social media. And you can even use like GPT, um, chat GPT to extract the main points of, of, of the article, break into it, or you can and make a list of them for your LinkedIn audience so it becomes more like consumable. And uh, you can then, you know, say, oh, you got this from, from there, but you don't need to place a link, whatever. So that can be really, really powerful. And then it, it kind of helps you to, um, to become the source of information for people, the, uh, the, the news source, which is great, you know. Or you can copy the, the, the news, yeah, and then try to spark a conversation with people again. Again, you want to be the center of attention. And this kind of stuff can really can, can help. I see myself using this part of Taplio for sure. That's, that's great. That's really, really good. Um, database. Okay, there we go. Database CRM. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, you have to go for the for the pro, uh, pro 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 whatever it's called, super pro level to be able to view this. So I'm not going to do this now. Let's see if I got anything in the contacts. Yes, I actually have contacts available, and I checked it out. I actually kind of liked it at the start. 
we've got this push to lem list pin here so i guess you can you're able to kind of send people the information directly to uh you can kind of extract these with taplio i guess what i don't understand is so i've got this list of seos i don't know how i put it together probably put it together in my last uh like a few, few weeks, a few months back when I first tested this tool because I then canceled the account and got back to using the same email address. Commented my post, like my posts. Okay. Let's see if I like my post. Do I need to add people to my list? Okay, that's crazy. Create a new list. Yes. Let's see how this works. I don't remember. Add a specific account. Big people to test. Test is the name of add in bulk. Okay, so I guess I can go to search sales navigator and then uh, yeah, and then have people and then have people edit from there once I filter them out and find the best representatives of my target audience. I guess that's what I can do for people from a specific post, or you can take them from a specific post, 100 people for standard accounts. It's actually pretty cool um, because uh, you, can, you can go to your competitors and basically steal everybody who's interested in the topic your competitors have been talking about. So if your competitors are talking about the same stuff or they're talking about something that complements the stuff that you are doing, you can sneak in, copy the link to that post, paste it here, and then click import. And once you do, once you do, you will have, like I have here, a list of SEO folks that I added a few months ago, I guess. And then what you can do with them is, okay, I need to connect this with Lemlist, which is, I don't have the, the account, export as CSV. I'm curious what happens when I export it as CSV for a second. Uh, Google Doc. Let's see what happens. What exactly does it, yeah, what does it, um, okay, email. See, it doesn't really extract the email. It extracts like basic stuff like the LinkedIn profile, URL, company they work in, position, their first name and the last name, if available, number of followers. So basically everything we see he, here, where were we at here? And then to get email, I'm, I'm curious, 242, I guess that's the other one. So it's getting the email now. So I guess if I want to have a, Does it export the emails actually? Or oh, it doesn't. Okay, it didn't find the email here. Okay, this is weird. Like you see, it shows the number of followers, which is great as well. Get icebreaker. So what can I do for that? Oh, it's generating an icebreaker with GPT-4. Oh my God, that 242. Uh, icebreaker I came across your impressive profile and couldn't help but notice our shared passion for health and tech. I mean, I came across your impressive profile and couldn't help but notice this is such a spammy phrase that used all the time by people. Your vast experience. Oh my God, this is so much flattery. It's it's over. It's an overkill. But I'm curious. Two hundred forty-two. Let's try it again. Okay, yeah, that uses up a credit. Two hundred forty-one. So it will give me another one here. I was seriously impressed by your extensive experience of fashion industry and as a fellow creative from January to get in touch with you. Yeah, man. I mean, this is, this is the really, really spammy stuff. So yeah, I wouldn't use GPT-4 for that. It's not, it's not great. You know, I wouldn't use this stuff. And so, okay. Not clear to me. Why would I use this contact bit? Uh, push to list, maybe some email. Can, I don't know. Makes no, I, I don't get this. Yeah, that's that's the point of the tool. I don't. I, it's not really intuitive, right, from the start. It does so many different things. Okay, direct messages. I was actually quite excited about this direct messages bit because 
I was like, man, what happens is that with social selling, you can have, say, Galaxy to automatically send out the uh, messages to your target audience. You can actually send the messages on LinkedIn once they accept your invitation to connect and also through the email. Yeah, you can set up with Galaxy a uh, business or whatever it's called, like their uh, high, highest to your account and then uh, send emails up to 500 emails on a monthly basis to people, 100 verified, I should confirm, verified emails to people on a monthly basis that they find on, on, on LinkedIn, which isn't a great, like it, it's okay now amount, but it, it's not crazy, but anyway. And um, so once they get these messages automatically, that's cool. And at some stage they might actually reply to you, which is something that you're really looking forward to. And then while you start having a conversation, you would also change their tag. Yes, you would know that they reply to you. So they're actually having a conversation. And then what happens is that frequently you would have these people die out. Yes, yeah, so they would actually stop replying to you for, for, for a period of time, for whatever reason, you know, they might have something might have happened or they got too busy or they ran away or they didn't want to reply, whatever, it didn't feel like it. So that stuff can happen. And, um, I would then go back and try to kind of pin them once again, asking them some basic question, like basic how are things on your end? And uh, Wallaxy has a built-in inbox, which you can use, but you cannot send in bulk messages in, in Wallaxy. And uh, I was really looking forward to this feature here because it's like direct messages, send personalized DMs in bulk, which is great, yeah? Because if I have an inbox and I only want to send messages to a very specific target audience, I would really be happy to have this tool where I can just, you know, I can tag, I can pick a tag for all these people that I had a conversation with, but for some reason they stopped replying to me and I can send them a very basic message, which is like, Hey, first name, how's things on your end? Like, are you ready for the weekend? For example, if it's Friday, you know, or if it's uh, like, if it's Monday, I'll be like, Hey man, how's your Monday? Did you, do you survive it? Or are you still in the weekend mode? There's something funny, you know, something stupid like that. And people like this then because it's basic. I'm not pushing anywhere. And it's like, read between the lines. We should reply to my message. Yeah, so we forgot. It's, it's, it's all cool, but you know, just be happy if you get, if you go back to me. So I was really excited about this feature in Taplio. And uh, I was really, really sad because they've got like 100 recipients, which is really, really cool. And uh, what I wasn't really liking about that is that I cannot have the tags. I can add from the list. So again, I need to create some. Okay, that's the that's probably why I needed to create the list and tap here. Yeah, there we go. This SEO stands up here right now. So I need to have a list at a specific account. So I need I can paste them manually here. Add in bulk again, sales navigator search or a specific post. So I cannot really use this for relationship management. Yeah, because I mean I don't see anybody here. Um I mean, you can, it, it can also, what, what it does do is that you use premium emails, which is kind of cool. If you are relying on emails, which have, you only get like 150 emails on a monthly basis. If people reply to you, people don't reply, you get them back. And, uh, but yeah, you, it, it's, it's really a little bit for a different purpose, this direct messages then. So it's really not for relationship management. It's more like, okay, you can just quickly message like 100 people at once. Yeah, which is not really the case. It, it, it's the way it's done on the back end there. It's a little different. So it's not like you click send and they will get sent e e messages. You go step by step. It, from what I understand, it kind of mimics your real behavior, you know, like something the way you would be sending the messages. So I, I, I would use this potentially, but I'm uh, not for the stuff that I want to do. I want to be doing, which is maintaining the inbox itself. This is, this was, I, I was a little bit disappointed with this. With this feature because i thought of it initially as something something different something that it isn't okay so on words from my disappointment on to engage okay the engage then is really really cool because or at least i was thinking to myself because you really want to be engaging with other people's comments uh content for for two main reasons so first of all it helps to bring your uh, yourself eyeballs, okay? So once you start commenting under popular threads of other people, you get a lot of other people checking you out, checking what you got there. And uh, they click on your profile, they might follow you, they might like your comment, stuff like this. It helps with building the brand. That's the one thing. 
Second thing, LinkedIn apparently loves when you comment on other people's uh, posts because it helps you uh, achieve a higher reach yourself once you start posting content. So it works kind of both ways. You produce more content, you comment under other people's content and, and links, and LinkedIn loves that, okay? So, and it makes sense. They want to keep you in the platform. They want content to be engaged in. And if it has more people, um, like, you know, if content has a lot engaging, it has a lot of engaging comments, then more people are likely to actually stay, check it out and stay more on the platform. And then LinkedIn naturally wants to, um, wants to be grateful for these people that spend their time and leaves, uh, writes these comments there in the people's posts helps. Okay. But, um, so I was really excited about this feature. And so let's check it out. Engage with other people on LinkedIn to attract more opportunities. So basically my target audience, given that I help digital agencies with uh, mastery and lead generation through my genuine social selling framework is basically people that talk to other agency owners or the agency owners themselves. Okay. So I'm going to go through these. As you've seen, this stuff is just loaded up here and, um, Let's check it out. So it's got a few tabs of these, like we're gonna check them out uh, soon. Engage on content from other Tapio users to grow faster together. That's interesting. Is it from other Tapio users or just people on LinkedIn? The more engaged with other posts, the more we will push your posts to others. Oh, I see. So they actually create it internally. Okay. So it's other Tapio users who are looking to get some love. That's actually interesting. So essentially, it's it's more it's it's hey, hey it's interesting. It's like a, almost like a, a LinkedIn pod they're called. Yeah, it's like a community of people that join together, and they start basically supporting each other's posts by commenting and liking these posts every time they go live. And the way it's done, it's it, it, it here in Taplio, it looks like it's uh, almost like an auction type thing. So the more you in the more you participate in Taplio itself the more Taplio puts you out there here. So I would assume like this Eric Basu guy, he, he spent quite some time commenting on other people's posts, I presume. Um, and that's why he's up here because that's what it says, engage in content from other Taplio users to grow faster. To more engage, the more you engage with other posts, the more we will push your post to, post to others. So again, given that he's number one, I presume he's commented, he's been commenting out there most recent most followers let's try most followers because i really want to engage with people that have more a uh, higher capacity you know that i'm because uh, i want to do like the 80 20 stuff i want to only leave comments on the most strategically um the post with most strategic let's put it that way capacity so i can do a 10k unlimited followers yeah so i want to have a minimum of 10k followers pretty recent post. I, that's what I want to have. I can also have like a keyword move posts through hashtags or most no, it's okay. By filters. So again, it's going to reload once again, real quick. Let's see what we got. Reinvent coaching. Uh, that's the power of Yeah, I don't know. Oh, wow. That is actually Portuguese. Why do I want to want Portuguese? I don't know. That's weird. I don't want to have Portuguese. Do I want to? Can I filter that stuff? I guess. No, I cannot. Ever been? Okay, here's our Eric guy. Remember reality. The power. See, that's the stuff what I really not a huge fan of. So you almost like have to, I don't know, like it doesn't show the information about the guy's profile. I don't know who is like, who is, who is the guy? More than that, I cannot click to his LinkedIn profile. Yeah, so I really need to kind of read the whole post to figure out what this, what is going on because it's not exactly clear right from the start. So I don't know. And uh, uh, yeah, if we go any further, like I'm also not seeing any engagement on these posts. So I don't know if they, they're not getting any engagement because like Taplio doesn't show any engagement on them because they just don't like load it. Or do these posts actually have no engagement? I cannot tell that. Uh, so I would really appreciate like if I had a bit of a like a headline at least to, so I could understand what these guys are all about. Because again, I don't want to necessarily want to read the entire post, especially once I get um 
yeah, especially once that looks like AI stuff. Once I get these AI things, I can just log in and, uh, you know, comment. And there you have it. But let's give it a try. Uh, your reputation is driven by the stories others tell when you are not present. Your job, tell a better story. Well, I potentially can be like, you see, I don't know who's uh, like, what is the audience like this guy has, but potentially it looks like it's mine. So let's add value, congratulate, say thank you. So I can write the whole comment myself, okay? Or I can click add value. That will steal another credit and then generate with GPT-4 and then you're just sitting like that and waiting. Spot on, mate. It's all about walking the talk, isn't it? You can't just spin a good yarn and hope for the best. We got to be genuine and consistent with our actions. People will sniff out a fake from miles away. So let's keep it real and let our actions do the talking. I don't know, like, I mean, this can fly, but I don't know how good this is. Okay, so to me, eh, I don't know. So, and you already like generated it, you know, if like, I, I didn't like it, I want to remove it, but my credit doesn't go back. So make what you want out of it. Uh, so, I mean, I get the idea of this thing, but I would much rather have like a bunch of, and I'm actually curious if I can like add a bunch of people that I want to select. So a list of people you've created using the tap of your CRM feature. Okay, so probably I can get some comments from the people that I want to be, you now I want to pick myself manually. So that's actually pretty good. Yeah, because you know the folks that regularly produce content that have a similar to yours audience, and then you can, um, uh, then you can monitor them. So I guess this will be the most powerful feature of them all. And also this one, reply to comments, because what it does is, uh, it actually retrieves the latest 25 comments on your last five posts, okay? So, I, uh, yeah, so it's like, uh, it, it couldn't find any, which is weird. It's like, it retrieves no post file, which is weird because I do have posts, so it seems a little bit glitchy. I have posts with comments, so that that is weird. You know, that is quite glitchy. I don't like that. But uh, here, well, really, I clicked on it and then it's like, what, did they close it or something? Okay, so apparently if you go to a different tab, it kind of closes automatically. Okay. So uh, 23, I'll go here. Does it, okay, still working. Give, let's give it some time. So what do you think about the tool so far? Like, to be honest, I'm still unimpressed. I can see they're trying to do so many different things at the same time. And uh, it doesn't seem to me like they're doing anything that is really, really great. Like, I'm, to be honest, I'm, again, I'm not really happy with what I'm seeing. Like, I won't, I'm, I won't be using this tool at the time. I'm, I'm curious what their pro, like, power feature is, like, with this database stuff. But is it like, because there are other tools doing this, so... I don't know if, if Taplio is, is actually going in the right direction, to be honest. I, maybe, like, I don't get it at all. Maybe, like, people find it useful. But post schedule and feature is, is good, yeah, from, from what I see. But the rest is, like, GPT stuff is powerful, but it's GPT-4. You can just sign up for it separately, and uh, there you have it, you know. 98%. This process can take a minute or two. Okay, it's taking a while. But yeah, so I, I, I don't think I can recommend Tableau, you know, like at this stage, given what I'm seeing. And we've gone through like all of this. I mean, the news stuff was pretty good, but you can just Google the news and, you know, take out the, 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 the articles and hook generator post. Like this is the AI, AI stuff, viral content. I mean, a lot of it is obsolete. It's, it's done way too long ago. and doesn't make sense to have those 4 million, whatever, search mode. Eh. And when it says outreach as well, like, I mean, it wasn't exactly what I was looking for with the, with the messages. Yeah. Okay. And it's only showing me uh, Sam here, which is weird because I have, uh, I have more people. I have more content creators there for sure. Like I would imagine I have more content creators there. Cause I mean, even if I didn't, even if I didn't, 
let's go back to engage even if i didn't oh really are you actually going to default every single time oh man that sucks oh man that's actually if it's going to default like that every single time and i'd have to wait for this thing to load that sucks i mean that is just not cool i'm not loving the tool you can tell that and for the price once you look at it 50 uh i'll show you the price again what was this account settings fill in update your plan it, it, it's like basically i got the lower price as well because i registered for uh like they've, they've got something going on like an offer or something if you go yearly it'll charge you 30 at nine at this offer but usually 55. and if you're not if and if you're not like going for this ai stuff it's like it's 52 monthly but to me it's like a bit of an overkill for a scheduling tool it doesn't allow you any of these things i'm not impressed seriously see if that then loaded where is this yeah again same stuff so displaying posts from 25 people randomly selected from the list i mean this was posted one day ago but the guy posts like every day so why not load more posts you know and it shows like again zero engagement so i guess it's just the way uh taplio is loading these up because this post definitely has engagement like it, it's a no-brainer so i guess yeah man so i'm going to cut this review here as you can tell i'm not really impressed by the tool i'm curious what you guys think about the tool and whether it's actually useful and or i'm being stupid and not really understanding the huge value of this thing and um let me know in the comment section i'll see you in the next video one day way in another thank you for joining me here and let's be friends on linkedin connect to me on linkedin all right have a good one take care